anybody can use. And there's a cycle of some machine which is actually pretty nasty as fuck. So the nurse seems pretty. Like I said, TR seems pretty good. I've not even invested that much into NC yet. I don't know, see how it goes. I mean, the NC's on the European side. So it's quite nice having both anyway. Just potter away and stuff like that. I mean, obviously, certs make that game, you know. Like, well, they don't, they don't make it, but it's nice to be, like, certified in certain stuff and, you know, having your guns and stuff like that, but. At the same fucking time, like, it plays just fine even without it. NS, that's the one, yes. Except I've got NS Cyclone, which is usable, usable in everybody, and... I think that's it. Like I said, I bought a max weapon pack. A standard weapon pack, which came with a camo as well. And the camo on one of the guns is neutral. So there's really only the max stuff for the NC, which it needed. The default NC max is crap. And even with the fucking, like... What the... What, oh, there's a gun, like a really nasty shotgun for it. And even that's, like, medium. Still, like, not as good as the TR max is by default. So I've not really invested that much into NC. Be all right anyway see how it goes when the servers come back up again like i said i've got to be honest i think when the servers do come back up again i'll probably play that tr guy where's me over oh there it is can't fucking see it where's it gone oh there it is Yeah, Planet Side's good fun. Like, so especially when there's a, a big chunk of it. When the action's right, and there's a big fucking group of you, stuff like that, very, very solid. Now, not, no hard platformers, guys. It, it's a bit fucking... It's a bit rough. See, I can't believe how late I fucking started tonight. It's way too late. I mean, I w well, the thing is, like, I would be con I would contemplate playing, um, like, re-rolling a TR on a European server instead, but the ping didn't seem that bad there. Like, I, I really didn't even notice it, tell you the truth. Didn't even notice it. And on top of that... It, it's, it seems quite nice to have, like, the option of American or European, like... Say I was streaming during the day, I can play the European servers, and if I stream, like, now, late at night, I can stream the Amer on the American ones, so I don't know. See how it goes. Oh, here's the patch notes. Let's have a look. I really wish OBS would sort it out. Oh, there it is. Like, so you just can't fucking... It, don't re it doesn't remember. You know, like, you set up a window for a game, it remembers stuff like the Xbox, it seems to remember stuff like, you know, like, web browsers and shit, but it doesn't remember game capture and shit. Seems like some extra shit for, um, oh, Empire Specific Fighter update. Fair enough.
I did the following resist types to heavy assault resist armor. I don't fucking know what that is. I don't know, maybe that update means a bit more to some folk than what it does to me at the moment. I don't know, nothing particularly springs off the fucking purge. Seems all stuff to do with aircraft. So we're in about fire suppression. Hmm. Seems alright. Right, so let's have a look at this Dark Soul trailer. Type in Dark Souls 2, it'll probably come up somewhat. Near the top of your foot? Uh, machinima, that'll do. As always, YouTube, you completely fail the, um... Completely fail the auto quality settings, as always. Perhaps you've seen it. Maybe in a dream. A murky, forgotten land. Maybe in a dream. Oh, good shit, YouTube. Good shit. Fuck that up, Royal. Nice. Well done. Gotten land. A place where souls may mend your ailing mind. Long ago, in a walled-off land far to the north, a great king built a great kingdom. I believe they called it... Drag Lake. There's dragons in here. I'm gonna have to fight that crap. That last generation graphics, bro. It's alright, they make it look nice still, but damn, that's really obvious now. Oh my god. Fucking Bahama. will burn in anguish time after time for that is your fate the fate of the cursed I mean I'm sure it's gonna be great and stuff like that no doubt whatsoever but the um like I say graphics don't make the game to me but yeah it's very noticeable is that engine now. Like, that engine was fantastic. Last generation is starting to show its age with Dark Souls 2 this year now. Very much showing its age. It doesn't really matter though, because they are. It's, it's a bit like. They're a bit like Blizzard. You know, Blizzard's always behind, like a generation behind or more sometimes with its graphic engines. 
but the art direction makes up for it in spades. So I don't really consider that to be a problem. Yeah, I'm fucking dying on that. Really looking forward to it. Expensive game for me though. Expensive game. I've got to buy a copy for myself on March 11th for the either the 360 or the PS3. Probably the PS3. I don't know. Because we buy it for the. Oh no! Wait! No! No! I'll get it for the 360. I've got an Xbox. I was just wondering then. Like I've got an Xbox. I've got no. Xbox Live Gold, it, it should count on both 360 and Xbox One, doesn't it? It's still the same account. So no, I'll get it on the... Excuse me, I'll get it on the 360 then, fuck it. But I've got to get it on the 360, and then when it comes out on the PC, I've got to get Claire a copy on the PC, and if Claire's got a copy on the PC, I may as well get myself a copy on the PC so I can play with you. As well as the fact that the PC version will be superior. Nice attempt at trolling there. Isn't it technically um, Dark Souls 3? Since Dark Souls was a sequel to Demon Souls. It's like, no. Nope, do doesn't quite work like that. But yeah, I mean, some of the enemies in that trailer, like... They were so low poly, but like I say, the art direction makes up for it, and the overall game once it's running will look very nice like, but... I mean, that, that's, that's like fine and acceptable to me, but I can, I can definitely see the complaints coming in already about the graphics and shit. You know, Dark Souls, uh, Demon's Souls, was pretty much identical looking to Dark Souls, and there was a fair few years between them, and it's been a couple of years or more since um, Dark Souls now. And, like I say, Demon's Souls and Dark Souls were great looking for the last generation, but I think, like I say, it was, it was a really weird idea, wasn't it? Like, release Dark Souls 2 as a last generation game. Or, like, on PS3 and Xbox 360, it's like, a lot of people have either sold or shelved the 360s and shit by now and PS3s. It's like, it was a weird one. I mean, you know where they fucked up. It was meant to be, like, a really late game last generation, and that would have been fine. It was meant to come out, like, not even November of last year. It was meant to be earlier than November of last year, and it would have caught the back end of last generation, which would have been absolutely fine then. But now the next generation has been, been out for a while. And it's been out almost half a year by the time this comes out. Yeah, I don't know, like I say, it just seems like the textures are obviously like... I mean, it, it's fine texture work, but it's obviously on low poly shit, but... Fuck it. I'm not playing Dark Souls for the visual spectacle. I'm playing for the, um, for the gameplay, which it will no doubt have... Yeah, you see, it's just stuff like this. You know, in 2014... Where you can probably count the, you can probably count like f f seven to ten lines on an arm and stuff like that for the edges and shit like that, and a texture that's clearly wrapped around it and stuff. It's like, I mean, I don't, I'm not laying into it. I'm not laying into it. I'm just, you know, being being overly picky, definitely. But at the same time, it's like call, calling it Alza Caesar, calling it Alza Caesar, and like I say, I think. Um, I mean, I always thought Dark Souls was a pretty nice looking game, and this will be a pretty nice looking game as well, but like I say, I think it's just, it's... I do hope that Dark Souls 3 or Demon's Souls 2, it goes to a new engine, because you can't get away with that. I think that's going to be the last time they can get away with this engine. It needs a massive improvement. Some 
Moss type rock man? Weird tortured corpse boss. That looks like some kind of female reaper. Has that guy got some kind of like voodoo doll of you or something? Oh, well, yeah, I mean, for the size of the game, yeah, it does, like I said, do not get me wrong, I am not slitting Dark, I mean, you guys know me, I fucking love Dark Souls, I ain't slitting Dark Souls in any, um, way off form or anything like that, because, I mean, like I said, the graphic engine itself might be getting a bit old, long in the tooth, let's call it, but they always do incredible with the art direction, and it just makes it, more, it's, like I said, it's like Blizzard does. Some of the Blizzard games aren't the best of engines and stuff like that, how they look and shit, but the art direction always makes it far superior to most other games. Oh, yeah, I'm sure that's some kind of like voodoo. Though. I like the main guy as well. More like a... Frozen North type knight. Yeah, cool shit, cool shit. <laughs> yeah, no, that's not Twitch fucking, that's me. Pausing through little bits and shits, just trying to get a better look at it. Lest this land swallow your hole. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of changes in Dark Souls hey, 2. Hey everyone, and welcome to a new series where I challenge your knowledge of Dark Souls 2. If you've been subscribed to my channel for a while, so then you should already know some of these awesome changes to the game. Or maybe you'll at least learn some new ones. As usual, let's play the game with the like and the dislike button. If you learn something new in this video, leave a like. If you get 5 out of 5 and know everything, well done, and feel free to leave a dislike. Don't feel guilty, I can take it. Alright, let's do it. Number 1. I'll start us off with something you might have already learnt from my videos. With Dark Souls 2 comes the addition of a death penalty. 10% of your maximum health will now deplete upon every death, and you can be brought down to 50% maximum health before your health stops depleting upon death. This is pretty damn brutal, it reflects the process of hollowing much more realistically, as your character gradually becomes more hollow and loses more and more sanity with every death. Yeah, I can agree with as that. you continue to die, your face and body become more and more decayed, be fucking withered harsh, and hollow. Yeah. You can restore your maximum health by consuming a human effigy, which restores your humanity. And it might sound a bit masochistic for me to say it, but I actually really like this mechanic. It kind of reminds me of Demon's Souls, where you lost 50% of your health upon death, except in Dark Souls 2 this will gradually punish you for making mistakes instead. It's a bit more forgiving, and it ties in with the story really well, as hollowing is more of a gradual thing. Number 2. You can now aim in first person with catalysts. Just press L1 when two-handing the weapon. Additionally, you can cast a slower, more powerful version of the spell by pressing R2 instead of R1. And these changes are great, they give more variety to sorcery. Spells can finally be used in way more situations, making a pure sorcerer build much more viable. Spells still use charges, but there are now consumable items that restore those charges. So you know what all this means? It means we can finally play sorcerers properly in Dark Souls 2. Number 3. So, do you remember getting killed on your first playthrough by some guy who finished the game and cut all the good equipment just so he could kill you with it? So do I, those were good times. But now some of the stronger armors actually have stat requirements. Now this is a great change since it will do a lot to reduce twinking. You'll remember in Dark Souls that people would be soul level 1 with decent armor sets, and while armor doesn't make a huge difference in the grand scheme of things, I think at least it indicates that From Software have ganking in mind when they work on game balance. Number 4 is a really cool change. 
There were always lots of stories of people who put their controller down and then pressed the bumpers accidentally and hid an NPC in front of them, oh, killing man, them I or aggroing them. Loves. But in Dark Souls 2, when you kill an NPC, a gravestone will appear in their place. You can then revive the NPC temporarily for a fairly extreme price, allowing you to browse their wares and talk to them again. So this is a bit more forgiving, but it still punishes you for doing something stupid. I just wonder, do you think they know that they're dead? Because I probably wouldn't want to sell my items to the person who just killed me. Anyway. Number 5. You can now get damaged or poise broken during any animation. You're no longer invincible when performing a riposte, backstabbing, pulling a lever, opening a door, oh, or nice. going through a fog gate. On the same note, you can also cancel the animation by pressing the button again, which I remember my friend tried to go through the fog gate to fight the mirror knight, and he just kept spamming the X button to go through the fog gate, and essentially what he was doing was pressing X and then cancelling it and going through and cancelling it and going through until the enemies just came up behind him and completely See, destroyed him. trailer but, shot is shot a second Yeah, so ago. in Dark Souls 2, this is going to be a thing, that going through and cancelling it. Like, essentially what he was doing was pressing like X that. and then cancelling it and going through and cancelling it and going there. through until the enemies just came up but behind him and completely destroyed him, but it didn't look yeah, so in Dark that Souls 2 this is going to be a to thing, like um, it means backstabs are going to be less of an option when fighting enemies in groups, and also running past can be difficult now since developers could just bottleneck you by putting a door in your way, meaning you could get attacked while you open that door, where in Dark Souls you're invincible when you open that door. And that's it. Overall these are some really cool changes, let me know what you think, they make me really excited for